Today on Pro Church Daily, we're talking about the most valuable commodity your church can possess. Above everything else, this is what you need most. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Daily, the show where in 10 minutes or less, you'll get your daily dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we navigate the biggest communication shift we've seen in the last 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Mills. I'm joined, as always, by the boss man, Brady Shearer. And today, we're talking about the single most valuable commodity that your church can possess. This might be a little controversial, Alex, but let's dive into it. Single most valuable commodity your church can possess. Bibles. The Holy Spirit? Uh, purple robes hanging over crosses. Uh, shofars per unit capita. A descending dove logo in your main church brand logo. Uh, that's it. One of those things. It has to be one of those things. I'm going to come out of left field and say the most <laughs> valuable commodity your church can possess is attention. Okay. And, and we're not trying to like mock the no. you know things that your church has, but at the end of the day, We believe, as churches, as followers of Jesus, that we are sharing the most important message, the greatest story ever told. Ever. That's what we think that we have. That's what we fully believe we're sharing. If we believe that, then what we also have to concede is that the most important value, uh, the most valuable commodity that we can possess as churches and as followers of Jesus is the attention of another person. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. Because it doesn't matter how much fire of the Holy Spirit how much scriptural knowledge we have, how much charisma from stage, how wizardry, uh, wizard, wizardry we are with social media. Yeah. If we don't have someone's attention, it doesn't matter what message we're sharing. Right. It doesn't matter if we're selling the slap chop or if we're selling eternal salvation and hope <laughs> and reconciliation and redemption in Jesus Christ, our Lord yeah. and Savior. The slap chop might be better at getting the attention and then they win. Right. The most valuable commodity your church can possess is attention. And another reason why this is true is because attention is becoming more and more scarce than ever before. I was looking at some data. This comes from the American Marketing Association. They wrote about how the average consumer is exposed to up to 10,000 brand messages per day. Wow. 10,000. And for us, millennials and Gen Z behind us, who grew up in the world of digital, just as the world of digital exploded, we have grown up as humans, as individuals, becoming adults, being bombarded with a quality, sorry, a quantity of, of, of messages, a pure volume of messages and brand that no other human has had to deal with. No, it's and unprecedented. So our attention is drastically affected by that reality, the world that we live in. Yeah. Talk about this. This doesn't make Canadians look great because it was a study on Canadians. We are Canadian. We'll take it. Let's talk about attention span. Researchers surveyed 2,000 participants in Canada and studied the brain activity of 112 others using actual like brain nodes. So they asked via survey 2,000 people. They actually studied the brain of another 100 plus. And they found that the average uh, human attention span has fallen last time they did a big study on this, the year 2000, right around 12 seconds, the average human attention span has dropped from 12 to about eight seconds. Now, let's compare that with another species, the goldfish. (laughs) The average goldfish is believed to have an attention span of right around nine seconds. (laughs) So... To contrast the two, the average human has an attention span that is less than that of a fish that can be purchased for about a quarter. Wow. We're in good company. Yeah. So what does this mean? Well, this means that attention is extremely scarce. And interestingly, if you look at the data even more, it it, it gets fascinating. At least I found it fascinating. Mm -hmm. So the same same study, same survey with these Canadians. Sorry, Canada. But this is this is Alex Mills and Brady Shearer. This is us. Canadians with more digital lifestyles, those who were consuming more media, more multi-screen use, more social media, early adopters of technology, let's just say millennials, let's just say it, we're all thinking it. (laughs) This is fascinating and has huge implications for churches. Struggle to focus in environments where prolonged attention Mm. is needed. Maybe a 40-minute message on a Sunday morning, perhaps. Mm, Perhaps. It's all bad, right? Interestingly not. Same group. While digital lifestyles decrease sustained attention overall, so while maybe millennials have trouble you know, paying attention for long, prolonged periods of time, it's only true in the long term. Early adopters of social media, heavy social media users, multi-screen users, again, millennials, younger people probably in general, front load their attention and have more intermittent bursts of high attention. Mm. So when you've got us on social media, we are deeply entrenched paying attention. But what we've been conditioned to do 
being bombarded with 10,000 plus brand messages per day is we are tuning out much of the noise. But when you do get our attention, that's when you've got us and you've fully got us. Right. You know, we aren't glazed over, you know, daydreaming off in another world. You've fully got us. And so this then leads to the ultimate thesis. If attention is the most valuable commodity that our churches are, can possess, how do we get it? Hmm. And the easiest way to gain attention is to leverage and siphon off attention where it's already being paid. Eight, uh, seven out of every 10 Americans is active on Facebook. That's a great start. You know, we talked on a previous episode, yesterday's episode of Pro Church Daily, we talked about how much usage of the internet is happening every second and every minute. Yeah. A ton of attention is being paid there. So much of what we do as churches is trying to say, come to us Sunday morning, yeah, Sunday yeah, evening, yeah. come to us. We've got this great service. It's going to be great. It's going to blow your mind. Yeah. And we say, come to us, pay us attention, and then we'll give you this important mm-hmm. message. It's so much easier to seize the 167 hours beyond your Sunday service okay. where four times, uh, sorry, the average human, 50 plus, is spending four times as much on social than they are in a church service. Right. The average Gen X and millennials spending six times as much time every single week on social media than they are in a church service. Go to where people's attention already is being paid and leverage that attention rather than clamoring, come to us, come to us, go to them. Yeah, it's not just it's not just a slogan for us, you know. Seize the one sixty seven. It's not just something we say or yeah you know, hashtag we put in our photos. It's this is this is the core of, of what we believe churches need to be doing in this digital age, in the midst of this communication shift. We talk about is let's let's get up off our chairs, let's go meet people where they're at. We know where they're at. We have so much data available. It's not to a us. secret. Yeah, we know where they are. We know what they're doing, and and most of the time we know what they want. And so let's let's make an effort. Let's get there. Let's get their attention. And before you know it, they'll probably come to you. Attention, the most valuable commodity that your church can possess. Easiest way to get it, siphon off where the attention is already being paid. That's good. That'll do it for this episode of Pro Church Daily. But before we go, we wanted to tell you about Story Tape. We're talking about attention. One of the best ways to get people's attention in 2018 and beyond when it comes to what type of content? Written? Audio? No, video. Yeah. Video, it's the most dominant content medium of our time. The average business publishes 18 videos every single month. Mark Zuckerberg called it the mega trend and something yeah. that he doesn't see disappearing in the next half decade, And five I think years. he knows what he's talking about. He probably does. When yeah. we're talking about masters of attention, those that understand it. Yeah. We want to help you make videos easily with story tape. And so we will give you thousands upon thousands upon thousands mm. of video clips to help you make videos. What's the hardest part of making videos? The shooting part. The right. part where you need a $10,000 camera or you don't need it, but we have it. And we want to give you that quality. Yeah. Storytape.com is the place to do that. Unlimited stock video downloads on a single monthly subscription. And to make it even easier, for the month of January only, we're going to give you 25 proven video templates as a free bonus awesome. for signing up for Storytape Unlimited. Storytape.com is the place to do that. When you're checking out, when you're signing up for Storytape Unlimited, you enter your name, your email, your CC info, CVC, three digits on the back of the card, Yep. expiration date, throw in the coupon code daily and we'll give you 10% off your Storytape Unlimited subscription forever as long as you remain subscribed and we'll hook you up with those 25 bonus video templates, Amazing. but only for the month of January, storytape.com. That'll do it for this episode of Pro Church Daily. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow. And thanks so much for watching this episode of Pro Church Daily. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you get new videos like this one every single day. And if you like this video, it'd mean the world to us. If you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.